did you guys end up getting like celebrities to support you guys? Is that is that like how far like out you guys go? Well, I mean, it, it's worked the same way as it did with friends and family. I mean, it started with a familiar face, and then they got their friends involved. And once I think uh, other celebrities saw those other celebrities get involved, it kind of worked in the same effect. I mean, we did an, a lot of initial outreach, and we still do today, trying to get all faces of influence to be a part of this campaign. But um, these days we get a lot more people outreaching to us as well because uh, other people have uh, taken part in the campaign and there is that outreach now. Did anyone show up that like particularly surprised you, someone that you didn't expect? Every day, all the time. Well, yeah. I, I also think that as far as the, um, the celebrities um, go, it really happened just like the regular people. Like they just came in. Like there was one day we had an open shoot here in the studio and um, Scott Ian the lead singer of Anthrax came in. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, and we didn't know he was coming. He didn't say, hey, I'm Scott Ian, and I'm uh, you know, the lead singer of Anthrax, so mm -hmm. I want any special treatment. He came, he waited in line, just like everybody else did, went through the process, and then when he gets there, then we were like, wait a minute, you're Scott Ian. So we, I mean, it was good. But I think another thing that helps is that we, a lot of the celebrities that do support the campaign, we don't have to convince them or or educate them or encourage them to support equal rights. It's a lot of people that already do, but maybe you just didn't know. Like a lot of people didn't know that Cindy McCain supported marriage equality. Yeah, I saw that photo. Like that that was actually that actually kinda like inspired me to contact you guys because I saw the last name and I'm like, that's not the McCain I'm thinking of and <laughs> yeah. sure enough it was. Like what was like what what was she actually say to you? Like were you I mean she actually you approached us about taking yeah. a photo. Um I was in the uh, studio photographing Megan McCain for her uh, autobiography, Dirty Sexy Politics, and Cindy May came along for moral support. So she just happened to be in the studio at the time, and she had seen Megan's photo from our prior shoot uh, when she had partaken in the, no hate, the photo. No hate photo, because she had yeah. reached out to us as well. Um, there have been, big, uh, we're big supporters of LGBT rights, so um, she had asked us in the studio if she could take part in the campaign, so that surprised us as well. Yeah, it was, and, and I think that the, it's the great thing about the campaign is a lot of people still wouldn't know that she supported marriage equality and equal rights if she hadn't done a photo. Because it's not as spoken about as much. But a lot of these people that we don't realize, they really do support it. Mm -hmm. And by them putting their face to it and putting the message out there, it shows their fans and their followers that, that this is something that they believe in, that they support. And for the people that idolize them and that look up to them, you know, maybe they'll think about supporting it themselves. Yeah, because because of that photo, it shows that it's not a party politic issue. It shows that it's not Republican, Democratic. It shows that it doesn't matter who you are, but you can get involved, even if you disagree with your family members or your husband or your wife. It, this is something that everyone has a voice on, and they can make a difference in their own lives. So, what other what other ways have you guys have you guys out, did like some kind of outreach to the community? Like, have you guys? I saw that you guys had um your, I think it was a. Red carpet premiere, or like your it was your your three year anniversary. Yeah, three year right? anniversary. Yeah, and, uh, we just had that a few weeks ago at the House of Blues. It was it was great. I mean, a any reason that we can have to bring people together and build a sense of community, and I mean, we were celebrating that night. We were celebrating three years of activism. We were celebrating almost nineteen thousand photos in three years. So it w it was our way of, for lack of better terms, it could be like a pep rally, like get everybody together, re remind them. We're going into an election year in 2012. So the most important thing that you can do right now is register to vote. In 2012, the most important thing you can do is vote. We need people to vote. We need people's voices to be heard. When Proposition 8 passed, it's because a lot of people didn't vote because they were too confident. And they didn't realize that one vote can make a difference. And you put all those votes together and, and you have a, a, you know, a powerful message. The three year anniversary was a lot of fun though. We had over 500 people show out, and this is one of our special prints for the night that we had everyone come out and sign. Uh, we had DMC, Polly Perrette from NCIS was there, um, a lot of celebrity faces along with a lot of local community members, and um, our local mayor for West Hollywood came to proclaim it No Hate Day on stage wow. that day. So mm -hmm. it, it was a really uh, interesting night um, with all sorts of different surprises. So it was really special to us, and we we're looking forward to 2012 and year four now. So could we ever, could we see Prop A in the future possibly being overturned? Have you guys heard anything about um, that? Most definitely. They just, um, actually the Secretary of State just received, uh, gave approval to uh, Love, Honor, Cherish, a local nonprofit, to start 
um, accepting signatures for uh, a ballot to repeal Proposition 8, to put it on the ballot in 2012. So they have got to go ahead on that. Um, so it's, it's very possible, and I think um, we've come a long way since 2008, and a lot of people have been educated. There's a lot of confusion since uh, many years ago, so I think it's very, very possible. Um, and then also, uh, this is probably commenting like more on more on art, photography as an art. Mm -hmm. How would you how, how would you take this and like try to like inspire other people to have art like comment mm -hmm. on what's going on in today's world? Um, I, I feel like it shows the power of a photo. It shows the power of someone's voice. Um, everyone has something they can contribute. For us, this is our talent. This is what we do. Um, but again, we couldn't do this alone. Everyone has to be a part of this photo shoot. It's a collaboration. Everyone brings something unique to it. Everyone, whether it's a prop or a unique pose or their friend, everyone, even after 18, 19,000 photos, have, has brought something unique to the photo. And that's what keeps this campaign alive and what keeps it growing and keeps it going, is that these people keep supporting us and keep coming to us, um, whether it's out in like New Hampshire or whether it's here at, in LA. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's, it's all about the community. And then do you guys have any other events coming up or anything that you'd like you'd like our viewers online to know about? Well, I mean, I definitely know that there's going to be a handful of states that are going to be going through the marriage equality battle in 2012, and we're definitely going to focus a lot of our time in those states to kind of rally those communities so that, you know, they don't have the experience that we had with Proposition 8. Yeah, we have um, all sorts of events planned. I mean... Uh, for us, we always said we were on the 50-state plan. We're trying to take this campaign to places it's never been. We always want to uh, take that voice that we have now and take it to those smaller cities mm -hmm. and kind of lend it to places that uh, we were ne never able to before. Um, so we'll, we'll be everywhere. I At mean, this just, rate, you guys... Yeah, we're, really we just want to have that presence, and we just we want to show that no hate applies to everyone, um, regardless of who you are and regardless of sexual orientation skin color, religion, it's not just about LGBT rights, it's about no hate and just being different and being proud of that. Yeah, we need to go to all those small cities and empower those communities and let them know just because you're in a small city you still can do something big because we both came from mm -hmm. small towns. We live in a big one now but you know we know what it's like to be from a small town and to be isolated and to not have the sense of community that maybe people in West Hollywood have. So if we can go there and kind of unite that community and bring them together you know, hopefully after we leave, they'll keep the message going. Mm -hmm. For us, it's like planting a seed. Mm -hmm. The community really has to come together and take those photos and share it with their friends and family to keep it alive. Doing the photos is the first step. Everything else that comes after is also very important. Yeah, for us, we're just uh, pieces of a greater puzzle. It's, it's definitely, definitely mm -hmm. all a community effort.